Hello everyone and welcome back to Strife Solutions. I'm of course William Strife and this is Yogscast Complete, or Yog Pack if you prefer, a special version of modded Minecraft for us the Yogscast. If you want to play along, you can find the community version on the AT launcher. A link is in the description. So, uh, last time around, I did a uh, miscellaneous episode, bits and pieces, you know, all sorts of things that needed to get sorted out. But um, now it's time to get back to science and whatnot. But before I do that, I thought I'd show off. I finished the east platform, or I'm sorry, the west platform, and uh, I covered it with these ghostwood trees from Natura. These come from the uh, nether. I've been cultivating them. I just really like the way that they look, and um, these things only grow on nether rack, as you can see. So uh, if you find these on your own and uh, you can't figure out why the hell you can't get them to grow, uh, that's how you do it. You have to plant them on nether rack. So uh, there's that. Uh, update of the uh, extra platform being done. Looking fantastic as it is. Uh, don't forget, I have indeed uh, genetically modified myself so I can indeed fly around as if I'm in creative mode whenever I am actually in survival. Uh, go ahead and put my helmet back on. The other thing is uh, I've gone... I've been, you know, touring the world again, searching for oil and whatnot. Some of you probably saw a image that I tweeted on Twitter uh, of an oil rig that I built over a really big gusher, and uh, I'm almost full on crude oil again. But um, in the process of going back through uh, my oil facility, I found something interesting. It seems that someone has been polluting my wells. I found 25 raw fish and two barley in uh, one of my old wells that I went back to collect parts from. Um, I don't tolerate polluting, especially if people are chucking random crap into my wells. Whoever did that, um, God forbid that I ever find out who did that because I'll take them and eviscerate them. So that's everything for updates. Now let's get on to the episode in earnest. So, it is now time to get into chemistry, also known as Minechem. So, uh, Minechem is a really, really big mod. Um, there are a whole lot of things you, that you can do to it. The problem is that there's no really effective structure to it. Um, you kind of have to play around on your own. So, uh, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people aren't uh, using Minechem, despite the fact of how awesome it is. Now, another thing about Minechem is that if you go out and you look for resources and um, you try to learn how to manipulate it, uh, most of the resources available for Minechem out there are limited to Minechem 2. And to give you an example of how out of date that is, we are running Minechem 5 in this pack. So there have been some pretty significant changes. Uh, things have been removed, other things have been added. Uh, for the most part, Minechem has been a series of improvements and updates, not so much removals. But uh, that being said, there have been some things removed. So um, there's a limited amount of uh, resources out there for Minechem. But anyways, um, that's, uh, that's enough of a preamble. Let's actually get around to getting into this. So, uh, first of all, I want to make the point that uh, Minechem machines will chew through power indefinitely like the mad science ones, but as opposed to um, what I did over there, I installed this on and off lever over here. So, uh, this will deactivate the uh, the cabling behind it and it will disconnect from the primary power network. And uh, the Minechem machines also have enormous internal batteries, so this is the way that I'm doing it now. I just flick it on for a little bit, the cables reconnect, and um, the machines will suck down as much power as they need very, very quickly, and then I can shut it right back off and they can just run off of internal batteries. So uh, that's the way that I'm running the lab over here. So uh, now let's actually get into, you know, creating the machines that I'm going to need. So Minechem is uh, really the basis of it. It runs off of three primary components, the microscope, the chemical decomposer, and the chemical synthesizer. Uh, synthesis? I could swear that it was something else. What is it here? Ah, chemical synthesis machine. There you go, I, I didn't have enough space to finish saying that. So, uh, the microscope, the chemical decomposer, and the chemical synthesis machine. Now, to make these things, uh, I should have everything that I need inside of this box. Uh, the coal is just extra stuff that I went and chucked in there. And I'll go ahead and get rid of all of this other stuff in my inventory because I'm not going to need it. So, to start off with, let's make ourselves the microscope. The microscope is composed of a microscope lens, a bunch of iron, and a glass paint. So, microscope lens is a con two convex lenses and one concave lens. Concave lens, there you go, just a bunch of glass. Let's make one of those. And then I need two convex lenses. Two of those, okay. And now to make some glass panes, we've got ourselves a microscope lens, and now to craft the microscope itself. There we go. Microscope is uh, done and in the bag and all. 
put my potato launcher up over there. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this down right there. There we go. Now it's hooked up to the network, and uh, I don't even know that this thing needs power, for that matter. Um, it doesn't really matter. So, the microscope is now hooked up. That's uh, one thing off of the list. Next up is the chemical decomposer. So, chemical decomposer, come in here. It is composed of a bunch of iron, an atomic manipulator, and redstone. So, the atomic manipulator is a block of iron surrounded by pistons. I should have all of that. Uh, I'll make one. I think I'll make two, because I think I need uh, one to make the chemical synthesis machine as well. Uh, go ahead and shift click. There we go. We've got ourselves a chemical decomposer. Go ahead and take all this back up. Pop that down. Okay, there we go. Chemical decomposer is done. Let's check that off the list. Now, to make the chemical synthesis machine. Uh, it's another one of those atomic manipulators. Redstone, diamond, and a bunch of iron. Just go ahead and shift click, and there we go. We've got our chemical synthesis machine. Boom. Now, I'll go ahead and throw the lever here and uh, charge these babies up. They're at 100% power. Now, I'll throw that lever again. The internal batteries are pretty good. Um... Usage is uh, 10,000. I don't know if that's joules or um, RF. I, I'd imagine that it's RF. So that's enormous. One million joules. Wow. Okay, so uh, now that that's done, the next thing that I have to make is um, a journal, a chemist's journal. Because let's face it, chemistry is something complicated. You need notes to do this. So to make a chemist journal, you just need a book with a glass pane. No, it's a block of glass. And there we go, I have myself a chemist journal. Now I can take this chemist journal and I can right click with it and open it up. Uh, chemist journal, there's a little explanation here. Use this journal to keep notes of all the scientific discoveries you make. There's a slot in the microscope for the journal where inspecting an item of the recipes will be recorded to your journal. Discovered recipes will be shown on the left. Click on an item to activate the recipe, place this journal in the synthesis machine, and the active recipe will be automatically loaded. So, uh, you know, I kind of read through that a little bit fast. So basically what you do is you take this journal journal and you can put it into the microscope okay this is where you examine things and this is where it tells you uh what it can about the microscope what is this oh hey i didn't know that there was a tooltip for this okay so uh we've got the microscope and now i've got two chests over here uh two copper chests just to differentiate them from everything else where i've basically got predominantly nothing but a bunch of vanilla items, okay? Because um, if you're going to start analyzing and trying to break stuff down, you have to remember um, most mods where you break uh, break stuff down into mod-specific uh, items, in this case, you're gonna I'm going to break down break things down into chemicals, uh, the place that you always want to start is with vanilla items, because that's what the mod is going to be compatible with without question. Then you branch out from there. And I do want to warn that I've heard stories about how people will shove items from various mods into the microscope to try and examine them, uh, crash their world, and corrupt the data. So you got to be careful, okay? Uh, that's the reason why I'm pretty much sticking to vanilla items, and I'm going to branch out from there, figure out what I can and cannot get away with. I've, uh, in, I've used some really basic... I've got some other really basic materials, such as copper and lead. Those are very common materials from uh, mods. But uh, let's start out with the basics, hey? Let's start out with some dirt... And uh, some wood, some sand, some gravel, cobblestone, and standard stone, hey? So uh, we're going to start out with this. So I'm going to come over to the microscope here, and the journal is down in the, th uh, is down in the slot. Now I'm going to take the stack of cobblestone, and I'm just going to place one copy over here. So I've put it under the lens, and it has examined the material. And here it's telling me what it is composed of. It's composed of two oxygen and one silicon. Um, so that's not bad. And then if I come over here and click, but, uh, this is what you're going to get out of the dirt if you run it through a chemical decomposer, this machine right over here. This will break the, uh, th you can put things into this machine and it will break it down into its core components down here. Um, this just examines it and records the data for you. Now, if I click this button right here, it'll switch and it'll tell me what I need to construct the dirt with the chemical synthesis machine. So if I put one silicon 
and one oxygen into a chemical synthesis machine, it will give me one dirt. So uh, that's how that works. So I've examined dirt, and the point is to just kind of go through and examine as much as you can, because this is really the fun part of it. This is uh, where it sh where this mod shares a whole lot with uh, Thaumcraft mod. It's, it's, there's a whole lot of research that you do, and the research within itself is kind of an, an adventurous minigame. So I've examined oak wood, and it gives me cellulose. Okay, so cellulose is composed of 6 carbon, 10 hydrogen, and 5 oxygen. So this means that it is a molecule, it's a compound of some sort. It's not made of... Uh, it doesn't give you pure uh, elements. So let's go just switch over to make sure that we record both. Uh, let's check out cobblestone next. Cobblestone is made of silicon and oxygen. And I switch over, it takes 2 oxygen, 1 silicon to make some cobblestone. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, so, really what I'm going to be doing here is just kind of going through this over and over. Sand is made of silicon dioxide. So, what I'm doing here is I'm not really teaching you how to make or do really, really cool things in Minechem. It's more or less showing you how to go through the adventure of, you know, examining Minechem. More silicon dioxide to make gravel. Must be in a different quantity to uh, make it as opposed to sand. Okay, so uh, I know a couple of the basic elements. I'm going to go ahead and come over to the de chemical decomposer now, and I'm going to put... Let's put the oak wood in here. So I've decomposed some oak wood, and it's given me seven cellulose. Now, I can put one in there, and it'll decompose that cellulose into its core component components. And there's not a guarantee that it's going to give me all the components. There's a good chance that I'm going to lose stuff in the process of breaking this down. So I've gotten carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But what's more is that I can make this cellulose by putting it in here and examining it, and I can record how to make cellulose from carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen by examining it under the microscope. And then I can turn it over, and I can look at both, you know, what you get from breaking it down and how to make it. So, uh, there we go, we've got ourselves some cellulose. That's not bad. Um, now, it is possible to come back here and grab the chemist journal, right-click, and, uh, let's select oak wood. Okay, let's select oak wood, and then come over here, let's take out the hydrogen, the carbogen, the hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, and let's put those into the repository in the chemical synthesis machine. And I, as you can see in the tooltip, active wood oak, that's the selected uh, recipe in the chemist journal. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it in there. And uh, it's automatically put everything where it needs to be. It's going to draw from the materials down here to uh, make the cellulose to make the oak wood. So if I just click... Or no, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't make the wood right off. What I have to make is uh, cellulose. So I'll go ahead and select cellulose here. Pop that in there. So I can make cellulose out of these materials, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So I just click, and there I've got one. And if I put the rest of the cellulose that I didn't decompose up here, take the journal back out, select wood, I can come back into the chemical synthesis machine with that active recipe, and I can turn this, uh, this eight cellulose into two wood. There you go. So that's that's really the basics of how uh, Minechem works. What's really interesting, though, is whenever you get to have uh, you start having fun by really breaking down chemical compositions and making some really neat and interesting stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck a bunch of this stuff back into the chest, and uh, I'm going to break down some of the more interesting stuff. Now, I have done research on my own. I'm going to go ahead and take some diamonds out. I'm also going to take some coal. I've got a bunch of coal here for a reason. So I'm going to come over to the micro microscope, examine the diamond. The diamond is made out of carbon nanotubes. Go ahead and switch over. Four carbon nanotubes is what I need to make a diamond. Four carbon nanotubes is what I make by breaking a diamond down. Ooh, I should probably have my journal in there to record those. Okay, so I've examined the diamond. Now to examine the coal. Coal gives me eight carbon and it's made with 8 carbon. Okay, so that's all good and well. I'll come over to the chemical synthesis machine, and I can break this carbon down. And it's not instantaneous, granted. It's going to take a little bit, but it uh, it's reasonably quick. Okay, so I've got a bunch of carbon, but I almost forgot. I also need to know how to make carbon nanotubes. So let's break down a diamond, and that gives me 4 carbon nanotubes. Now, let's put the journal back in the microscope and put the carbon nanotubes in. So now I know how to make carbon nanotubes. To make one of these, I require four stacks of carbon. Four stacks of the carbon element. Okay, so that's all good. Let's come back here and let's break down all of the coal I've got then. 
Okay, so I've broken down all of the carbon from uh, most of the coal that I had in my inventory. Now it's time to come over to the chemical synthesis machine. And as you can see in my journal, I've selected carbon nanotubes. Now I'm going to open this up, put the journal in there, just pop tons and tons of this carbon in there. And I'm going to make as many carbon nanotubes as I can, which should be just a few. Okay, there we go. I've made four carbon nanotubes. Now I can clear that out, take the journal again, select diamonds from it and uh, put the carbon nanotube in there plus that and there you go I've made a diamond out of it that so uh, that's a that's a pretty cool way to make diamonds uh, strange oh I'm out of power <laughs> my mistake there we go okay so another carbon nanotube Wow we that takes that saps 60% of the power in this machine crazy uh, so there you go. You can make uh, diamonds that way. Now that being said, um, that's nowhere near as efficient as uh, the heat press downstairs that I've been using with Buildcraft to make diamonds. Uh, actually, don't do it too much because the digital miner is so e efficient. But um, this is another method by which you can make diamonds. Now there are a whole bunch of other interesting things, and you know I'm going to be looking at those as the time uh, as I go on. So uh, before I go, there's something else that I'm kind of interested in looking into that I've heard about, and that is what grass might give you. Um, go ahead and take my journal here. Now, some of you may know that grass is slang for something. Let's see, is this... <laughs> sure enough, THC. That is the active ingredient in cannabis or marijuana. Oh my god, this is awesome. So if I decompose this... Oh my god, I'm getting THC out of it. This is incredible. So, wait, let me check my uh, journal here. Grass, there's a 10% chance that this will decompose into THC. So, one out of every 10 tufts of grass, which luckily this stuff is not, you know, especially rare. In fact, it's so not rare that I've got a bunch of grass here, and I'll decompose even more of the stuff. So, since I can make THC, you know what this means? It means that I'm in the market to start doing pharmaceuticals, guys. Strife Solutions makes tons of money, and if you know anything about the, uh, the markets, it's that pharmaceuticals is a great way to keep people drugged and keep them happy and keep them paying. So, uh, maybe I'll be looking into that soon. Uh, I might even be able to make some rather more illicit goods, but if I was to sell that, I would need something like a drug den or some sort of black market to sell it on. Uh, we'll see about looking into that. Anyways, uh, I am, of course, Strife of Strife Solutions, and I will see you guys in the next episode, where I suppose I'll be showing you off some even more interesting things that you can do and make in Mindchem. So, I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!